Kings Commanders! Spring Cleaning 2019 is here, and and a tradition begins. Greetings, Commanders! Uh, spring Cleaning 2020 is here, and it's actually like two months early. Last year, we were like saying finally, because it took them forever to get it here. But the Spring Cleaning event, basically it's going to let you trade in your 8-hour and 24-hour resource buffs uh, for these... Commemorative coins. Commemorative coins. And it looks like it's the same oracle as last time. So most importantly, do the oracle. That's like, I'm doing Tuesday Newsday on a Monday because I'm hearing people are claiming these items with their commemorative coins. Don't. I mean, unless you desperately need any of these premium items that you haven't been able to get yet, then get them, right? Get one of each, whatever. Uh, but I don't need any of this stuff, and I don't need the space warp devices. I hear it's 150 super equipment chests, but I'm not sure. I'm not going to waste mine. Check in the description below. If you want to know how many space warp devices from super equipment chests you need, check in the comments below. I'll pin the comment. Uh, the antimatter is from monsters on the map. Nanomatter is nano from farming. And then uh, nuclear materials are from spinning the wheel. Spinning the wheel gives you the 8-hour and 24-hour production parts. Now, remember, sometimes they don't give you cash. Sometimes they don't give you one of these things. That's why mine's a little out. Out of balance. See how my uh, my uh, was it called part production here is at 887. Uh, yeah, not good. Now I I want to make sure. See the the classified documents that you see on there. Those are for the space station. Um, you can actually use them here as these research projects. Uh, remember, if you do the recycle thing here, you got to be careful because they will let you recycle your 24 hour and eight hour. Uh, buffs. You do not want to waste them on the decomposition. You want to use the spring cleaning. So uh, let's do the spring cleaning and then I'll talk about the patch because there is going to be a patch today. It's By the time I film this, it's not out yet. It'll be tomorrow. Basically, all we see right now is what's coming. I, there's always more in these patches, more than they tell us. So keep a lookout in the line chats. If you haven't joined the line community, it's a social app. Check in the description below. Message me. I will personally invite you to one of the 12 groups. We have a new migration chat. We actually have a new chat for server and guild recruitment. If you're recruiting for your guild, appoint somebody. If you don't have a recruiter, uh, message me online. I will invite you to the migration or recruitment channel. If you're looking for a guild or just want to hang out, invite me. I'll invite you to that channel. We are now open for business, self-moderated, be nice, only solicit once a week for your guild. Okay. Uh, the new version, right? <laughs> Man, I'm plugging it away. Uh, air, added character selection theme to Galactic Battlefield. I think that's for the 5v5. Not too interested in that. Uh, we'll see what that does. Commander Moonshadow is the Galactic Battle Season 10 reward, so she's going to be buffed like Full Metal was a few seasons ago. All the infantry mains out here are really excited to see this. Uh, we're going to be doing the Dragon Slayer Commander card soon, and uh, that's going to we'll, we'll cover that. All right, added preparation stage to Galactic Campaign. That's the biggest thing. There was an issue in the playoffs last season. Uh, guilds were getting lagged out for the first 5-20 minutes and it was causing the galactic battles to shift because certain players couldn't get in or everyone was locked out. Now there's going to be a preparation stage. So when the galactic battle starts, we're going to have either 5, 10, whatever minutes to log in and get ready. Uh, very excited to see that. It's going to make it a lot easier for me to cast it as well for the live streams. Okay, so let's do the spring cleaning event. Uh, during the event, we're getting buy one, get one melange, success rate, adding for upgrading equipment, fine. I get so many bots nowadays. The first 20 levels, I just use bots, you know, at least a 15. 15 to 20. 10, 10 to 20 for sure. Uh, even to 25, maybe even 30. Uh, Stone Golem is in the uh, release 10 reward. Honestly, Golem is not. He's basically been replaced by Dragon Slayer. Golem's old news. Still a great commander if you don't have Dragon Slayer, though. Don't get me wrong. Golem, with penetration gear, Golem is back in the main scene. But if you're going to run penetration gear as an airship, just run Dragon Slayer. All right, let's get to the spring cleaning. Uh, it is a nine-day event. I think nine days. Uh, here we go. So limited time redemption, right? You can get classified documents. You can spend the commemorative coins on the bots, the documents, the pure crystals. Pure crystals are nice if you're making that push for tier nine, but for, it's just not really worth it compared to what the Oracle offers, right? So you got to turn, you got to trade your uh, eight hour and 24 hour speed ups for coins. So it's uh two for one, just like normal, right? One cash, two gas, two electricity. Um, uh, mine's going to be a little out of balance because I'm limited by my parts on 24 hour, but I'll go ahead and do that here in a second. Also, you can turn in three 24 hour caches for a coin here. I think that's probably not useful. And you can rip, get rid of your mop ups because mop ups can be used for that new event and mobilization. I don't recommend doing that. It is only 30 per coin, which is a really good value. So I will consider that, but, uh, Let's go ahead and burn through these. Can I go all the way through them? Let's definitely go. Let's start with the stuff I don't want most, right? I don't want electricity and I don't want gas. Okay, so we burn those out and we use the rest of the eight hours for the food and the parts one. 
Uh, simple enough. Okay, I, cash or I'm sorry, yeah, cash is my limiting reagent there. Still have way more eight hour and uh, food and parts there, but I can spin the wheel to get more cash if I want. I just have a chance of, of getting more food and parts as well. Spinning the wheel is like you get for every five you spend, you get four back. If you guys don't know what I mean by spin the wheel, it's the mega slots, mega slots, right? There you go. There you go. Boom. There it is. Now in here, there should be a cash, right? Eight and 24 hours. Sometimes it's missing things. That's why I freak out. So there it is. Eight hour cash, 24 hour cash. So it is available there. Uh, very nice. Um, but if, yeah, if you, if you really want to push for more spring cleaning, you can get more there. That's kind of the opposite of what the event is supposed to do. But because the mop up is, I'm sorry, the mop, the mobile, the Oracle is so good. It's worth doing it. So let's burn through the rest of them. And then we'll start doing that Oracle that I keep talking about, but not showing everyone. Burn through all those, and then I'll burn through all these. All right, so cash is the limiting reagent once again. Like I said, it lets you do three for one, but 24-hour uh, cash, but you never, there's never enough. So uh, if I wanted to, I needed how much more? I need to trade food for, I wish it would let you like recycle parts for cash or cash for parts, you know, to balance it out, but I need, I need cash really. Is there anything that's way out of balance? Yeah, 24-hour food production is way out of balance. Ugh, eight-hour food production is way out of balance. Oh, well, man, I, I whatever, uh, moving on, you know, that's, I got the most out of it I could. I'm not going to burn my mop-ups for now. It depends how good this Oracle is because this is what everyone's here to see. I got 1420, move your big ass head, 1420. And, uh, the rewards are as follows, Geist Stones and Spirit Stones Frags, apparently. Uh, and it's really easy to get these Beta and Telebots. They let you take your gear to level 30. And that's what I meant, not, I take my gear to level 30. Uh, just with bots alone because I get so many of these and I rarely upgrade my gear because I, I have the right gear. I'm working on a penetration set, of course. Uh, but here's the rewards. There's a Geist Stone Frag. Let's just go ahead and start burning them. There's a Spirit Stone Frag. Oh, those are so valuable. Uh, documents, bots, uh, magazines as far as I'm concerned. The Walker Crystal there. Uh, Flower of Life for Awaken. These are so good, man. It only takes two of these. And look at all these Awaken tokens. Awaken tokens, resources, magazines, bots. Give me those frags, baby. I'm so close to my next frags, my uh, third and fourth. There's another ghost for, uh, spirit stone. I think that's three I've gotten already. Uh, I should be counting this better, but you know what? I'm just going to tell everyone, unless you need that other gear, don't bother. Run this Oracle. And frankly, the mop-up tokens... They're good. It's good to have a few thousand mop-up tokens, but like, if you're really close to a Geist Stone or Spirit Stone, I would, I might burn them. Just keep enough mop-ups for that one event uh, that comes around every once in a while that lets you get. Actually, that that Christmas tree event where you can use mop-ups to get bonus spins or whatever. That's trash. Don't waste your time. Uh, so it looks like uh, 200 to 300 uh, commemorative coins. There's another Spirit Stone. Uh, 200, 300 to do the full 100% there. And you do get some good bumps along the way. I'm going from like 26% to 30%, stuff like that. So there's another Spirit Stone Frag. I'm getting a lot of Spirit Stone Frags. I should have counted, huh? All right. Um, obviously, there's a lot of clicking to be done here. Oh, there's a big jump. Uh, there's another Spirit Stone Frag. So I'll probably, out of 1,400, I'm expecting to get 10 to 20 uh, Spirit Stone, 10 to 20 guy Stone Frags. And that's a 10, 20% of a third or fourth gem, which is worth $100 to me. 100 to, ooh, there's a big jump. So that was like 150 for a whole bot there. Not to mention the bots, right? Up to level 30. Those things are valuable, man. Taking a gear from level 1 to level 30 with Melange is expensive. Well, going from 29 to 30 is expensive. Uh, I have a breakdown of an image of that somewhere. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, this is, a, this is an amazing event. Spring cleaning 2020. So good. This event doesn't need to be any longer. I'm so happy. Look at that. Three in a row. Three spirit stones in a row. Daddy's going to have a new third gem. Third and fourth gem. Maybe a third and a fourth. Oh, there's another one. Okay. Should I just keep clicking this thing? I'll just keep clicking it.
game's freaking out. It's not letting me do I did it too many times. 1,400 times or 700 times. God, that was a lot of times, huh? A lot of mouse clicks. Poor mouse getting worn out. All right, well, this is coming to an end here. Um, I hope you enjoyed that montage. Uh, you know, I, I, gotta, I was just thinking as I was sitting here watching all the clicks, I really, really like this event. Very rarely does an event come around that's just straight up gifts. Free gifts, whether you're a spender or, an, uh, spender or not. Everyone should play the Mega Slots like crazy. Like, honestly, just doing the, the 10 times spin, you get four out of every five gold you spend back, right? So you keep spending this thing like crazy. It helps for gold spending events. And you just keep getting more and more of these 24-hour speed-ups. So that Oracle is so good. I'm thinking about just burning the rest of my gold here, or at least down to like 20,000. And, uh, oh man, 6,100, making my money back. Uh, and just doing the Oracle, like spring cleaning it up and getting it back, because that is so much value. God, it's a lot of value. I mean, look at this. Look at it. Got another two here. That's another two Oracles right there. Another Oracle. One Oracle, not two. And then this one here. I mean, it's just, it's amazing. It's amazing. I love this thing. Love it. Uh, let's go take a look at our items, see how many guy stones, spirit stones. I went ahead and fast forward. I got five more out of 500. So averaging 100 there, and I averaged six. So for every 100 coins, I got 10% of a Geister spirit stone combined. That is amazing. That is so good. I don't even know how many other bots I got. I think I was low on those, at least 20 or 30. I think I was low on beta and telebots. I got 13 of those. Oh, this event's so good. All right, Melt, shut up. All right, that's it. Uh, more events uh, More events are coming for the spring cleaning event. I probably said spring festival a few times already. But remember, this success rate is only uh, one more day. It's seven. There's six days left after that. So probably going to get one for buy one get one mags and uh success rate for upgrading uh leadership is probably coming as well and maybe buy one get one resources I like to throw that trash event in there that's it end of video we will see you tomorrow for army's penetration dragon slayer build for the season nine commander cards we're getting to the end of those boys we are getting to the end oh leave a like on the video